Look at all that crabgrass, Rach. Yeah, that's a lot of crabgrass. Oh boy. That's how <laughs> we're starting our day today, guys. Good morning, boss. Good morning. Today I'm is, Rachel. And I'm Carl. And you're watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. And today is March 30th, yeah. obviously 2023. Unless you are watching this 10 years in the future, then it's probably 2033, so. <laughs> but the day <laughs> is 2023. So that would not, be nice if you guys are watching it 10 years in the future, though. It'd be nice if I'm still here doing that in YouTube <laughs> yeah. and stuff 10 years in the future. We'll see. We better be on our farm by then. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. We are out to mow. We are finishing the week off. Um, well, today's Thursday, though. We're finishing the week mowing some that haven't been mowed yet. So there's like a couple that haven't been mowed that we're doing today. Mm. And then our big one. And then tomorrow we're probably mowing some that we've mowed already once this year and then some that we didn't mow. So yeah. and then starting Monday, we're full on mowing. Full on mowing next week. Oh, and landscaping. But the Still goal is... Still landscaping, yeah. Yeah, to get a lot of mowing done in the beginning of the week. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I'm excited to mow this because we actually aerated and seeded last year and it looks like a lot more grass, even though Carl showed you the grab, crab grass, but... Yeah, you guys got to understand when you're doing lawn renovations, uh, we do recommend you do them in the fall, do your aerating and seeding. And remember, this is only for cool season grass. And remember, this lawn, we haven't put a pre-emergent down yet this year. Yeah, so that is actually something that I would like to touch on. Um, if you guys are going to be getting into like offering uh, aeration and seeding and fertilizing and all that good stuff... You need to make sure that you make it very aware to the client that it could be a three-year um, transition. You need to be very consistent, you know, very, like, they can't just aerate and seed one time and think that they're going to have a perfect yeah. lawn. So you need to make sure that you verbalize that to them. Uh, when we put out our quotes, even if it's just in the beginning of the season for, um, you know, pre-emergence, mm -hmm. I give the entire year, like, this is what it's going to look like. This is the cost breakdown. Um, now, we are not quoting seed yet because we don't know our exact seed prices for the fall. But we give a, a an, roundabout, a roundabout where price where about. it was last year and... You know, depending on prices, we still make the client very well aware that it could change. So just make sure, again, that's where a program comes in handy because, um, you know, they're approving something where you have all this listed. And if there's any questions, you can always bring, bring up that original quote and say, no, we went over this. And that's for lawn care people that want to get into this. For the client side of it, as far as like homeowners, um, if you have a guy come to you and tell you he'll get you a weed-free perfect lawn after seeding the first year, then you might want to look for somebody else. That doesn't happen unless you put sod down. Yeah. Um, or you're using a ton of chemicals to kill everything and then grow grass back. But if you know lawns and stuff, you can't seed and then put a pre-emergent to keep the weeds from coming back up because then your seed won't. So you're right. always going to have that point when you seed that you might get some weeds that penetrate and come back up. Remember, these years go on, the thicker the lawn gets, the less weeds you'll have and the less spraying you'll have to do. And then eventually you'll get it to where you put that pre-emergent down and the lawn's so thick that barely any weeds pop up. Yeah. But you'll now, always be fighting weeds. And you also can't just put sod down and just leave it for years. Yeah. And think that it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. You still got to still put have to maintain it. You still have to fertilize mm -hmm. it. still have to mow it at the same. Yeah. Because if you do that and you don't do anything, you will have a ton of weeds the following year. The only thing so. we don't do is aerate the first season. Yeah. Um, but after that, mm -hmm. aerate. Like so normal. some tips. Yeah. So let's get out and get this done so we can yeah. get these two done up here and then go and then get back and get back and yep. do our big one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go around and start weed eating everything. As you can see, there's more um, grass here than there was last year if you've been watching us. Especially back here. I'll get some of the front, but let's go. Oh man, there's a lot more grass in this lawn now. It used to be all warm season grass. There you 
go, guys. Not too bad, right? Here's number two for the day. I'm going to leave you guys here to watch us do some work. Almost done this one. Then we have the one right behind me. These are two properties.
Ready to mow? Yeah. So we're at our biggest one again. This is the second cut of the year. I don't have my tripod. I gotta not forget to bring that. I'll get some mowing tomorrow when we add it to this video. But I'll show you a little bit of Rachel mowing and stuff and then we'll get this done. See how long it takes. nice that looks we're just about done this one i think we did it in under two hours i'll have to check time and if anybody's wondering it's that white fence it's this big open field here and then everything inside the white fence and then on the other side there's a strip probably just as wide as this all the way down the property it's a total of just under two acres and we do 325 a week for this one not too bad. I'm just a tad under two acres, I think. Okay, let me start blowing off. Good morning, boss. Good morning. You caught me eating breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. And you're watching Happy's Lawn Care Landscaping. And we are getting ready to get out and mow. We only have, today's Friday the 31st, right? Yeah. The, yeah, March the 31st of March. Um, like I said, it might be, this might be later on in a video. It just depends on how I make the videos. That's why I'm telling you what dates it is. So you guys get a roundabout because we do a couple days in one now. Mm -hmm. Um, I took some screenshots of some pictures of lawns. We aerated, started aerating three years ago. Now there might be ones we started four years ago, but I can only find some pictures and we're mowing one of them today, two of them today. So I will show you guys the pictures of what they look like before and after. Yeah. As far as like, since we've been fertilizing and seeding. I mean, we see a difference. We know the clients see a difference, obviously, because they come back every year for a reason. Yeah. Um, But seeing the pictures is just like mind blowing. Especially the next one. You guys will see the picture of the next lawn. Mm -hmm. I mean, this one is a big difference between these two, but I only have a picture for this one. But this one, we skipped a year. So we've only been doing this one the last two years now, right? The year the pandemic started, we skipped him a year with, Maybe. Fer with fertilizing and everything. Mm -hmm. The beginning of 2020, I think it was. He tried doing it himself and then he, I thought he called us back though for aeration and seed. Like by that point, he realized that he couldn't do it anymore. So, yeah. Um, But then what made a difference too is that he started adding soil the past couple years. So definitely it makes a difference. Mm -hmm, that makes a difference. And the other one was just like complete weeds, buttonwood, so much buttonwood. Same like, with the front of this floor yard was complete yeah, weeds. Yeah, this so. was complete weeds too. And we don't we only treat the front of this and not the back, so you can really see the difference. Like when you have a definition line between neighbors, that's one thing. But when you have a definition line in your own yard, yeah, in a client's yard, it's pretty funny. But. So, <laughs> yeah. And the years, like, um, there's a client that we've been treating for years and years. And it's funny because 
you know, we know where their property line is and we do mow both properties. So I guess because we mow, bo mow both properties, coral creeps further and further over into... Yeah, you guys might have seen that on the video that I yeah. put up a couple weeks ago. The yeah. client said something like, well... Maybe you should start charging them one third of <laughs> my. I mean, my it's rent. only one. Usually, a spreader will spread out ten feet on both sides, um, and I just go right on the property line, so it'll go about ten feet into the neighbor's yard. And it's not like the neighbor is going to come out and yell because the neighbor would, if they could, they would fertilize and seed and everything. But it's a money situation. Yeah, so. I think it's just you know, again, everybody is different. Some people want to invest more in their property than others. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and we try as hard as we can to work with clients, you know, to a certain point, but when you're doing a fertilizer program, we tell people you're either all in or not in at all. Yeah. So that's why they haven't really done anything. Yeah, because you can't just do a seed, one yeah. app, and then that's it. Because and you're all in for years. It's not just, a, you know... Because even, even with the lawns we have now that look really good that we got, we even got pre-emergent down on some of these early. You'll see some clover started creeping in mm -hmm. this year. And there's a couple dandelions, but the weather has been so funky that you can't really control that. But it's nowhere near what it used to be yeah. Um, yeah. by putting pre-emergents and stuff down. But when you skip a pre-emergent app... That's what happens. Any bare spot, and especially if you're not mowing the lawn, a lot of people, a lot of, and this is only for fescue lawn. Um, warm season, I know they cut way different, but a lot of people will take fescue and bluegrass and they'll cut it down to two and a half, three inches, and three, that's too low. I mean, the sod field says the minimum you should cut is like three and a half. Yeah, and, and again, we personally feel the higher you go, the better, just because Keeps it really does drown out the weeds. Um, and yeah. And it, you have to spray less then. Yeah, keeps from having those bare spots, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so we like, and drought. It really does yeah, help helps with drought. drought. So, so let's go. Let's All right, get let's some work go. done. Okay, guys, these are the first two we're doing. What's the matter? diagonal this way today. Oh, you went diagonal that way. I'm going to go this way today. Okay. Whatever. If you want to do a different way, you can. Okay, guys. I left my tripod at our secret project.
you go guys I just have to string trim everything Rachel's mowing I'll show you the after picture I'll show you what it looked like before or after and Rachel's over here striping the front of this one let's see how this looks then I'm gonna go string trim everything string trim everything and then we got one more to do on the other road there and we will be fertilizing again probably in two or three more weeks and I'll be spot spraying anything you guys see like any little clover in here the poa you're not really going to spray and get rid of it's a grass so it's not gonna kill it. It'll just kill stuff like the violet that came up in here. A lot of clover this year came up. Look at that. Okay, so we treat the back of this one, the whole yard on this one, the side on this one, and the front on that one. And watch, you'll see the difference when you come over here. Because we do not treat the back on this one. See the difference? Same thing, the front on this one looks like the back of that one over there that I just showed you, where you guys just seen it a little earlier, so not bad at all. Love this seed, seed this Jonathan Green seed that we use, Black Beauty, if anybody wants to know. Um, it's supposed to be drought resistant, grow really deep roots, spread. It's got fescue, bluegrass mixed in it. go finish weed eating so it's that backyard in front of this yard and everything we see that has the Jonathan Green Black Beauty okay there's, there's a band line. look you guys want to see a shitty lawn care company <laughs> sorry for my bad language but look at this yard our property goes from this tree and it's literally scalped all this lawn here want to know the difference the difference there is that's a guy that's making twenty dollars an hour to cut lawns, right, right. probably. Right. Where we're making eighty or more. Yeah. That's what you get when you pay crap.
we're done this one. This is the second mow for the year. So I'll put the picture in what it looked like before. And then if I do it right, this is what it looks like now. Not too shabby, right guys?